So back with another Doc Martens video, a limited edition pair, the Year of the Rat. You want to check that out? Stick around. Hey everyone, welcome to Sume Every Day. I am Sume. Thank you so much for watching. So in today's video, it's about Doc Martens again, but this time it's a limited edition, and you know how I feel about my limited editions. I love limited editions. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I typically do videos on like unboxings, reviews, like a little bit of everything, of everyday things that I do. So if you're curious about that, you could totally subscribe. It's completely free. So if you've watched my previous video on where I delved into the world of Doc Martens to search my first pair. You saw that I unboxed a lot of different pairs of Doc Martens and this pair that I'm about to show I found right after I filmed that video. And if you did watch that video it came down to two pairs, the classic 1460s with like the yellow stitching and then also another pair of 1460s but then with the contrasting stitch with the red. And I made a remark about how I did like the red stitching but then it was kind of like all over and there was a part of me where I thought you know it'd be really cool if it came with just the bottom red stitching not like all over. So after I filmed that video, I actually received an email from DocMartens.com. And in that email, they announced, I guess, this new special edition pair that they had. I clicked on it and the rest is history and here it is. I ran to the store to pick this up. You guys know I'm a sucker for packaging. And look at this. It is in this special edition box as well. It's a red Doc Martens box. When I ran into that store and I saw this, I knew like I was already in love with the packaging and I didn't even get to see the shoe yet. So this was a special edition by Doc Martens and this was to commemorate two things. One, the year of the rat. And for those who don't know, this is in celebration of the Lunar New Year. And the second thing is celebrating 60 years of Doc Martens. So a little factoid that I just learned. So the iconic boot 1460 was named after the origination of the boot, which was April 1st, 1960. So the way Europeans write their dates, the day comes first and then the month and then the year. So it's the 1st of April, 1960. So, 1460. I thought that was kind of cool. So let's open it up. So here's the inside. It has more packaging details. And if you can see, that is in gold foil, the year of the rat icon. And I'll be honest, it took me a little bit to realize that was a rat. Let me know in the comments whether or not you guys see that pretty quickly. So let's see what I got here. Guys. This is the limited edition, I would say 1460 style, Year of the Rat, and this retails for 150. I believe this is only available from Doc Martens directly. So if you can see, it has the red stitching only on the bottom. And what was I asking in my previous video? Oh, I wish they only had the red stitching on the bottom, whereas the contrast stitching boot had red all over. I'll insert like a video or picture so you guys could see. But then I felt like that was a little too much. And this basically answered my request. I feel like, is there microphones in here that, you know, someone's like listening in like, oh, she says she wants this. And then boom, right away I received like the email the next day. So I thought that was like a little weird. So I'm just gonna go right into a close up because this boot needs to be seen. It's not the yellow stitching. It's the red and it's only on the bottom, which is awesome. Everything else has the black stitch. And then here, this is gold eyelets and it's the standard eight eyelets. The tips of the shoelace here, also a gold metal, which I thought was such a neat detail. And then the back strap. Yes, this is a fur. This is definitely short hair. This added such a unique look and texture and it gave it like a luxe feel almost. The uh, tab here is also in red. In terms of materials, this is made out of a soft and supple Napa leather. And now after seeing a few of the Doc Martens, this is obviously not as soft as the Virginia leather, but this is softer than the 1460 with the contrast stitching. It definitely has more give here. It's softer, but where I was concerned with the contrast stitching boot where I'm like, oh, that definitely has to be broken in. I don't feel like I would need to break this in. And I do like the subtleness of just the red stitching on the bottom, but the gold gives it a little flash. But all in all, I think this is a very nice boot. It has so many interesting elements to it. And then here is the sole. It's very similar, I believe, to the red contrast stitching 1460 boot. And the inside of the sock liner is 
is also red and it also has that little rat emblem in there but yes i know it's hard to see on the camera but it definitely is red i think these are really cute on these are pretty comfortable there is a lot of give and wiggle room uh i don't think there'll be much breaking in with this the details of this boot like it has like this luxurious feel to it it's almost like a dressier combat boot with like the gold and need to mention since i love this hoodie this is by good american i got it from shop bop i'll link the video for the shop bop like haul that i did but i just love this back here so i just love this detail so you just have to mention that real quick so let's play around a little bit to see so this is how it would look like with my beautiful gucci soho disco with the red obviously and then the red stitching i think it's super cute or with my pochette matisse i don't feel like taking the straps out <laughs> i think it looks pretty cool with it as well and let's just go for something else here here is my louis vuitton south bank so i think this looks super cute as well let me know what you guys think so obviously i am definitely new to the doc martens world but i did not know that they made a lunar new year boot and i was able to discover they have a year of the dog and year of the pig the year of the dog boot looks really nice as well it, it looks like it had like the red stitching on the bottom and then but then like up here it looks like it has like the gold or like a yellow stitching which was like okay but then look at the year of the pig it has the red sole bottom Bottoms. like are you kidding me but it looks like it's made out of like a velvety suede material like the entire boot is that so that's something i would stay away from but i don't know how long they're gonna have this available i know when i picked this up the salesperson was like they didn't realize how popular it would be and it's like selling out like crazy and i could totally see why i mean one is a limited edition but two like it's a, it's different yet subtle and you guys know how much i love my luxury handbags and one of the things that i was kind of a little concerned about doc martens was that whether or not it would go with my luxury handbags but with this boot with the gold hardware and i'm gonna say it with this like fur on the back it gives this a luxurious feel i don't know if you guys would agree when i saw this in person i thought immediately like this would go so well with my pochette matisse with my gucci soho disco like it just gives it a luxe look it's definitely still a combat boot but all the little details just screams like to me like luxe or like feminine i think this is such a special boot especially for those of you who are actually the year of the rat i think that makes it extra special but come on like i just can't get over how this was almost exactly how i envisioned what i wanted like just the red stitching and then you have all these little extras and then i will say i'm assuming the fur on like the back strap here I guess that's significant of like a rat tail which is kind of odd or creepy if that's what their intention was but at the same time if you didn't know this was the year of the rat I think this is still a really really cool detail here so that's it for this video I just wanted to share the beauty of this limited edition boot with the red stitching and now I have to decide which one do I keep or which ones do I keep I'm starting to like them all and I can't justify keeping all three can i no i can't i think if anything i would want to go with like the 1460s with the yellow stitching and then decide between the two red ones either this one the limited edition or this one with the contrasting stitch I want to say this one looks like it's going to be easier to break in. This one is a little stiffer compared to this one. So decisions, decisions as always. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. So once again, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!